Hi everyone, Jennifer Herr here. So today I want to speak about a common frustration that I hear from many friends, clients. Um, I used to say it a lot myself, but I don't do it so much anymore. And I'd like to share with you why. So have you ever said, as you've gone through life, and you're having in the midst of an experience, some life experience, have you ever said to yourself, I have already learned this lesson. Why am I here again? Am I looping? And in case you're wondering what looping is, go ahead and check out my video on being in a loop. So this frustration, this common frustration about being perhaps repeating a learning lesson. Let me give you three other ways or three other perspectives of what might actually be happening. So first, you are in a situation and, in, and it feels like you've already been there and you've already learned that lesson. Perhaps, in fact, what's happening is you are going a step deeper in the lesson. And so perhaps the lesson could be um, conflict. And you've learned how to have conflict, be more comfortable with conflict with one person. And then the universe, when you've, when you've got it, it's actually a sign of progress. When you've got it with that one person, fairly well, whatever that subjective rule means or that um, measurement, when you've got it well enough, the universe will give you someone else or maybe a person acting in a different role so that you can practice the skills that you've learned. And for ex in this example, dealing with a conflict or being in a conflict, you can learn them from a new perspective, from a new angle. Um, you know, maybe you are having conflict with a relative, a, a family member. So then you get comfortable with that and the universe might then give you somebody at work that you have a conflict with. It's not the same experience. It's either a different, it's a different version of it. It might be a different environment, a different role, um, different baggage with that person or that situation. And to really hit this home, why this isn't a bad thing, but it really is a sign of progress. Imagine it like the color red. Right? When we're all kids, we learn that there's a color red. And that's basically anything that falls into the red, or red category is the color red, right? We might learn pink afterwards. Now we've got red and a light red. We've got a pink. Maybe we learn magenta or burgundy, a darker red after that. Notice that we don't start with the thousands and thousands of variety of red, but rather we start with one flavor, red. And then we add more and more nuances of what red can be to our, based on our experience. And, and that changes our vocabulary. The exact same thing is happening here in this experience with this, using the example of conflict, you've learned one flavor of it, one shade of red, and now the universe has given you more experiences because you're ready for more. You're ready to add variety and new perspectives. So that is one reason why you might have what seems initially like a, an experience a second time or a third time, or a fourth time, because you're learning different variations of it. So you really not only just know red, but 
you can identify and work with tons of different shades of red, different varieties of red. So that's one, another reason why you might be going through an experience again. Another reason might be you were initially the one learning the lesson. In my original example of dealing with conflict, and maybe you've become so proficient at the varieties of conflict, or you're just ready to now teach someone else. So instead of being the student in that experience and in that learning lesson, perhaps now you flipped roles and you're the teacher. So that's another thing that could be happening. The experience that you're in isn't for you to learn, but rather for you to teach someone else who is now in that same position that you were in. So that's the second thing. You might be the teacher. The third, the third reason why you might have an experience again might just be that it's an experience. It's a life experience. No agenda. You're not the student figuring out and learning the variety and practicing the varieties of that lesson. You're not even the teacher. It's just an experience. So I hope this has helped give you some other ideas about why you might be going through what seems like a similar or the same learning lesson again. So what other questions do you have around creating a life that you would just love? Put them in the comments below. And if you like what you're hearing, please like this video and subscribe for more.